Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 61 of our The Restaurant campaign in Crusader Kings 2. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we finished our war with Poland, taken one more province. Um, that was a de jure claim and we also managed to create Duchy of Poland. So we have now another one duke. Unfortunately, the third country of this duchy is under control of Kazaria, so we're probably not going to be able to take it anytime soon also. We now have a border with Orsha. Ooh. You are allied with Kiev, but Kiev got wrecked by Kazaria, so I have a feeling he's not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to call him in your war, right? Cannot call in the war, cannot call in the war. Bryansk. Bryansk could be called in the war. Is he powerful enough? Uh, to help? No idea. But we probably should take this opportunity actually. I could declare a whole war on you, right? And the only Orthodox guy around here is Byzantine Emperor, who should be kind of far away. Actually, Transylvania is also Orthodox, so this might be a problem. God damn it. Also, oh, yeah, let's go and pause the game for a second. Um, also, I've noticed that uh, the amount of Suminuska in this game actually dropped quite significantly. So that means that this guy of Ilmen, we could attack pretty easily and no one should be able to protect him. He have 600 troops, I have 2000. Uh, I know we're gonna suffer uh, supply penalties, unfortunately, but... At least we're gonna pick up one more province. It shouldn't be too awful, right? Oh, it's a part of Dutch of Estonia. Okay, and this one is Dutch of Livonia. One controlled by Charles or Gaz. I can touch really, and Suomi, who is Catholic. Which is kind of annoying. Hmm, okay, let's just let the game run a little bit and see who we are taking here. We could also take Pest, because they are Jewish, but they kind of have a lot of troops, surprisingly. Uh, Croatian Revolt. Okay, what is this thing? It's also Catholic. Ungwar. Oh yeah, Ungwar still exists. And we can attack you, of course we can't. Why would we? Hmm. God damn it. Smolensk. You are so minusco. We could, we could make it into a tributary, but it's not gonna profit us really. Also, we have borders in here. Bologda, so minusco. Can't attack. Rostov. Can attack. For this. Oh, probably because we have a border by the major river. But we also have a border by the major river in this place. Huh. Okay, so Rostov, you have 1,000 troops, and you could actually call in all of these little guys. South area is also, so Minusco can't attack. Mm, that's kind of annoying, I should say. Any Sweden people I could attack? Swedish? Only tributary, even though we have like a water border. I don't understand how it works. Uh, are we constructing this in our capital? Not really. Okay, we need to attack someone. Also, what kind of wars we are in? Goose War for Vladimir? Ah, yeah. And Kazaria joined on the defensive side. Which is kind of scary. And... Install this guy as a king of... Or as a Khan of Arslan. Okay. I guess the best target for us for now gonna be just Ilmen. We should take whatever we can, right? And he have no, not much allies. Oh. Now he have King of Suomi. What the heck? Same dynasty. That's bullshit. Who's your heir? Your heir is also this guy. Would Suomi join at all if they're currently defending against Goose? They might. Or actually, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm currently at war with Goose. Or with Su uh, Suomi. As a second participant. Oh well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna declare anyways. I need to expand. So... I'm gonna do this. I know it might be a stupid decision. Also, why? Why, why, why? Oh, never mind, this one's we're not gonna touch. Where else could we raise a lot of... Vassal troops. Yeah, let's just 
use couple of our vassal troops as well. Mm, let's gather you actually like somewhere around here. And let's see who is actually gonna join on your side. I'm becoming stressed. I'm with the to lash out people, it's getting worse. Okay. Uh, no one still joined on your side, that's nice to see. Now let's go to speed 4 for now. Uh, now they're joining. Vologda doesn't matter. Maria does not matter. Uh, Vebs does not matter that much. But all together they actually could raise a pretty significant force. Actually, could I call in my allies in here? Could try, but he's in other wars. During a visit to, it, during a visit to this place, something happened. So... Seems fair, okay. I'm too lazy to read this event. It's not gonna change much, okay. What we need to do is just go and assault this place, or siege it, as soon as possible. A peasant accused of murder is dragged before your court. Yeah, we're gonna toss him into the dungeon as we... As we did previously. Recent events has increased your grasp of stewardship. Plus two. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we need to just siege the war goal right away. In hopes of not receiving any more allies in here. But at least Suomi is not a part of this war. Suomi was the major concern for me. Also, we have some decent leaders in here, so let's go get the middle one. We have no flankers, unfortunately. On the flanks, we're just gonna have random people. Mm. And yeah, we're gonna suffer a lot of attrition. Because of... because of reasons. More sons of concubines, that's useful. Let's go to speed 3 for now, while combat is around. And another one, son of concubine. Uh, okay, you're actually marching on me... on your own for some reason. You're weird. But yeah, killing your army and sieging down your horsemen should be enough for you to surrender. I'm pretty sure. Even your allies shouldn't be too much of a problem. Your command and uh, presence on the battlefield uh, was felt during the recent victory by friends and foes alike. Your bolstered, uh, you bolstered the spirits of them, of the men, when it was needed, and blah blah blah. I get 100 prestige. I thought we actually slain this guy in personal combat, but no. Did not happen, unfortunately. Okay, how much attrition we're gonna suffer? Actually, not that many. Or not that much. Like, 30 men only gonna die, but when the, when the winter gonna arrive, it's gonna be a lot harsher. Or a lot more harsh. My son and this girl, who I don't really know who is, or who is that. Oh yeah, I just uh, chose her because she was quick. Okay, that's fair. Uh, marriage between my cousin and my kinsman. Sounds great. Okay, where is your stupid allies? Okay, Suomi joined now. Uh, no, Suomi have not joined. Suomi... We're fighting against Suomi in other war, so that's fine. Sh there shouldn't be much of a threat, I hope. Okay, come on, siege it quicker. Yeah, the winter is coming, <laughs> as some uh, famous person said. And we're now losing men because of that. Actually, this one battle only gave me 17%. That's surprisingly small, considering that was uh, like entirety of your army. Okay, there it is. News reached court the claims of my title is hiring men to attack against me. Screw you. Where are you? You are in here. Oh, that's actually... Uh, awfully close. Okay. 100%. Awesome. Let's go and force demands. Are you gonna become my vassal? No, I'm gonna hold it personalized. That's fine with me. Stand down the troops. And this place I'm just gonna give away to a random person. I assume, right? So, uh, man, not imprisoned, any marriage, not a ruler, religion, culture, doubt, not a great house. You're gonna go to Caliban. It's now called. Uh, okay, adventurer, could we kill you? We could. Let's go and do this. 
It's actually my cousin who have a weak claim on Nasty Shagdam. That's actually stupid that he could uh, declare a war on me with his weak claim. Uh, considering that the weak claims only could be pressed during female rulers, regencies, uh, being considered in other claims, and so, like, yeah, second and third uh, inheritance. So, that's kind of annoying. Also, he lost our commander. Let's go and get a new one. I hope you have spare ones. My son. Uh, actually, yeah, I don't... Oh, my son became possessed. Ooh, that's nasty. <laughs> but could be fun to play as. Uh, because it's gonna provide us with some interesting events, probably. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I expanded slightly more. Not that this... Not this lens matter much. Because it's kind of crap, but still. Okay, so Omi. Are you losing any of your troops? No. That's unfortunate. Anyone else we could attack in here now? Orsha. We could call in Bryansk. Yeah, there shouldn't be too much of a threat as well. So... Should I just declare a holy war? <laughs> I'm scared that the Byzantine Empire or Transylvania could join and start sieging these places and, uh, like, taking war score from me. Because it's gonna be kind of annoying, but still. If I could take Orsha, I'm gonna get access to Smolensk. Should be easy to attack. And then just... I don't know. Something else. So it's a part of Kingdom of Ruthenia, okay? Also, I want Kazaria to collapse already. I don't know how to... Uh, how to make this. How to make this happen, because... There's... Mm, I'm really starting to get limited in the amount of expansion I could uh, I could do. And if Kazaria were to collapse, it would be a lot easier. Okay. Oh, we have... Oh, yeah, we have some prisoners from this siege, I think. I should have actually ransomed them uh, sooner. Or uh, I should have ransomed them before finishing the war. But oh well. Actually, they're now all the part of... Webs. They probably were like uh, the same dynasty with the guy, with the guy I subjugated. Okay, some free duckets for me. That's great. Any concubines I want to take from here? Actually, my my concubines is still relatively fine. Mm hmm. So Orsha, what should do? what should we do with you? At least not have supply limit penalties. So it shouldn't be too hard to siege you. Is Transyl oh, Transylvania is currently defending against someone else. So they might be not willing to join. And this guy is defending against someone else as well. Calabria. Actually, Byzantine Empire is just uh, in general quite far away. So they should not be considering joining, right? What the tooltip says? Nearby Orthodox rulers. So yeah. Uh, do we have another orthodox from these little guys? Not really. Okay, let's try it. it <laughs> let's see what's gonna happen. Are we gonna get wrecked? Maybe. I'm actually even gonna just raise all of my vassal troops except these ones. This guy actually provided me with quite a levy. Unfortunately, he's a little bit too far away to be useful. Or sure. Or, or, also, or sure. Please don't march the troops before I'm gonna be able to get mine. Also, you could go away. Also, we should be having some troops in here, so let's go and stand them down and there too. Mm. God damn it, who is attacking you right now? Defending against Smolensk and Conquest of Orsha. Yeah, because this jerk is actually <laughs> taking his opportunity. While I'm attacking Orsha. It would be great if you were to lose this battle. And let me go get the siege done. Uh, let you rot. Please lose the battle. Please lose the battle. Please, please. No. Okay, now I can siege this place. Interesting. And I can declare war on Smolensk as well. Uh, to become hostile. Hmm. <clears throat> That's annoying. Maybe you're gonna s follow his army and try to kill it? Please? 
Come on, do this. You stupid jerk. Stupid or opportunistic bastard. But actually, is it the same duchy? No, it's not the same duchy. So I'm not gonna be able to take both provinces from Smolensk uh, in one whole war, so that's annoying. And if I were able to uh, to loot, I would be actually able to destroy his army just by looters, but no. Now I can do anything. Hmm. How could I pull this off? No real way. Also, there's the army of Rostov. Because Rostov is allied to <laughs> Smolensk as well. And now they're living. Of course they are. Also, Rostov, why are you looking so... like Asian? Why are troops looking so Asian? It's kind of weird. No idea. Come on, leave the siege. Let me start it. You're not gonna. So, my war is gonna end inconclusively, looks like. But then I could, uh, could attack Smolensk. Okay, so I guess it's not a reason for me to have this troop raised, uh, troops raised. Also, this guy is getting plot plotted against, that's fine. Okay, mm. anyone else I could have taken here, really? Maria, do I have CB against you? No. Suomi, how's your troops counts? Still high and you're still Catholic, which is annoying. Is there any chances for me to, like, try to kill you? So you, so someone who is not Catholic can inherit? Probably not, you already converted, like... All of your court to a Catholic fight, which is kind of annoying. Mm, Bohemia, former Poland, is falling apart. I'm still having some more revolts. Okay. Pest, what are you doing? Uh, fighting against Catholic uprising, okay. Why can't you win it already, considering that you have 6,000 troops? Kind of weird. Fifty percent <laughs> chance. Oh, should I read a book or should I go hunting? Let's go hunting. Maybe I could receive some martial skills for for that. Maybe not. Uh, gain the press trade, or just go reading and get some diplomacy. Let's get some more diplomacy. We already have a lot. Okay, so yeah, Smolensk just uh, grow bigger. Now I could declare a holy war for him. He's also so Minusko. But he's allied to Rostov, who provided him with a lot of troops. And with other dudes. Maria. Oh, who's actually situated in here. Even though he's the Jordachi in there. That's interesting. But I still should have more troops than he does. So how about I'm gonna declare a war on you as well. Uh, it's unfortunate that we're gonna have a truce with you because of that. And I'm not gonna be able to take the second province right away. But it is what it is. You're a stupid, ambitious bastard. And I can't really do much about that. I should have tried to send my troops earlier, but I had no idea that he's gonna do something like that. Also, I'm not feeling stressed anymore, thanks to some random girl. My half-sister is pregnant, but I was away. Mmm... Doesn't matter, really. But let's have tons of children. Tons of legi legitimate children, so... Uh, a couple more bastards shouldn't be a problem, right? Okay, let's, I guess, jump right away to Orsha to get the defensive position. And start sieging as well, right away. I'm losing the... Bra Why the heck I'm losing the Brave trade? I'm leading the combat. The install Rustam blah 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 ended. You won. Yeah, the one who is my ally is still on the throne. That's mm, useful. Also, the siege should go really fast. Because this place should have no levy. Because it just got sieged. Uh, this one war gonna be a little bit harder. Because this guy is not one province miner. So I'm not gonna be able to get 100% war score from him, I guess, right away. But actually, I don't know. Maybe if I'm gonna fully siege him, 
It's gonna help. No idea. My son requires education. Some other son. Okay. You're gonna get martial education. From girl? Uh, no. From this guy. You've called in... Uh, someone. I don't care. I'm pretty sure they does not matter much. We should receive war, skull, uh, war goal right away. Oh, it's actually 98% for just a war goal. So let's go and kill your army and actually it's gonna be enough to finish the war. And also I need already to have a break. Oh, you're already surrendering. That's perfect. I accept. Oh, we just engaged into some battle in some different war. But at least they have major river crossing and we also have more troops than they do, so we should be fine, but I, I would prefer not to be the part of this battle. Okay, we've, pe we've picked up Orsha. It's a part of Dutch of Vitebsk, which is not a part of our kingdom. Uh, so I'm actually gonna mess with these things in the next episode, because it's already time for me to have a break, guys. First of all, actually, let me just disband these troops and then we're gonna finish the episode because I'm probably gonna uh, I'm probably gonna forget in the next one episode. So if you enjoyed watching this you could leave a like if you want to see more you could subscribe and if you want to leave a comment you should have to do it and I would answer you as soon as I could. See you later guys. Bye bye.